We've heard about microplastics in the ocean, but now we're being told the level of microplastics in Auckland's air is equal to more than 3 million plastic bottles a year falling from the sky. That's according to new research published by the University of Auckland. Zane Small explains where all that plastic comes from. Auckland's Hauraki Golf, famed for its marine reserves and summer swimming spots. But new research has found it also plays a key role in transmitting waterborne microplastics into the city's air, just as this diagram shows. When waves are breaking, they create these mists, but they're actually transferring microplastics from the ocean into the air that we're breathing. By analysing air samples from two Auckland locations, Dr Joel Rindelaw's team of researchers calculated that 74 metric tonnes of microplastics drop over the city each year. We've learned that plastics are literally raining down on us here in Auckland to the tune of about 3 million plastic bottles per year, just falling from the sky. There's a lot of bottles. It's estimated 8.3 billion metric tonnes of plastic has been produced in the last 70 years, and only about 9% of that has been recycled. The rest is either incinerated or ends up in the environment. And it could have consequences for our health because microplastics have been detected in human lungs. Very, very concerning. It's, um, it's wherever you go now, it's uh, becoming a real problem. Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty to the health impacts of microplastics, so that's why we are gathering more data at this point, just to understand exposure to these tiny little particles. In 2019, the government banned single-use plastic bags, and this year added plastic cotton buds, drink stirrers and most plastic meat trays to the list. And from mid-next year, plastic plates, bowls, cutlery and produce bags will be banned too. Because while microplastics are tiny, their impact to our health could be huge. Zane Small, News Hub.